Okay, here we go. Here's our center panel inserts. This is a dark red uh, carbon graphite pattern. We're going to set this right in here. Take place of those nasty looking pieces that fell off. All right, so what you want to do first, let me get in there and make sure everything lines up correctly, which it should and it does. All right. On the back side of this, at the bottom, is double sided uh, high strength adhesive tape made by 3M. This is what we're going we're gonna to use to attach the bottom portion of this panel right here. This top piece here, I'm going to use this E6000 contact cement. Some great stuff. It takes a little bit, a couple hours in this heat to, uh, to dry, but it'll stay on there as long as you uh, have your car. So let's get started. We're going to do first, this is adhesion promoter 3M. It's for the double sided tape. I'm going to put it right here where I know the tape is going to, going to be adhering. And it makes that tape stick like there's no tomorrow. Let's open this up. It comes with a little foam pad. I know the tape is going right around this perimeter here. But you got to work fast because the stuff evaporates super quick. In fact, I'm going to get as many of the area surface areas that I can with this one little piece. So as to get the most bang for my buck. Okay, this stuff is is completely evaporated now. All right, so here's the idea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by detaching. one little section of this double-sided tape. Just want to pull it down where you, enough where you can get it from the bottom. Other from the top. Because this has one little spot on it that is also detached. I'm going to make sure I can get to all of the, the points. You don't want to pull it all off at one time because once this stuff is down, you're going to have a very hard time getting it back and you're going to be really disappointed in the amount of work that it takes to get this double-sided tape back off. So you always just expose one little section. Get your panel lined up. Then you just work a section at a time. One continuous motion. And the bottom of this piece is now fastened. Makes it easy to do the rest of it this way because it's now pretty much holding in place. And you can see how, how strong this stuff is. I'm lifting this whole panel up with nothing more than my fingertips and that quarter inch tape. It's good stuff. All right. And the top piece here. I'm going to use our E6000 and be careful not to get this stuff off on the rest of the panels. But you can pull this up enough. You're right. You don't have to be sparing with it either. Just 
Make sure you got a good amount. But you want to make sure you got enough for the other side. So use about half the tube. But a generous amount. Make sure you get it written. Don't let it string off on your panel. All right. Wipe any of that extra off your hands too. Now this is what I'm going to use to anchor. These are as a you can use anything. You could use uh, sand from out in the yard, a bag of nuts, a bag of screws, whatever. You just need some weight, something that will be evenly distributed. I just used some screws that we had left over. Double bagged them. And what these are going to do is allow me to weight down the portion of this uh, panel. Without causing any damage to the finish. Another bag of screws. Just set them down. Don't drag them. Just set them eat. Let them just distribute their weight equally. See, that's down. That's not going anywhere. This, about two hours from now or less, depending on the heat, this panel will be dry and ready to go. Mm -hmm.